2011 mumbai the wankhede stadium 70000 spectators are sitting on the edge of the seats a billion more watching on tv it's the world cup final and india's greatest captain ms dhoni is on strike now the last time that india won a world cup was way back in 1983 and we know from recent experience how difficult it is to win world cups so as the bowler comes into ball india needs four runs to get of eight balls seems simple right but wouldn't it be amazing to see what would be happening in dhoni's mind at that moment of time now if i take a audience poll over here most of you would agree that it's better to finish the game with singles probably hit a four but there's no point in taking unnecessary risks and in fact i've asked this question to so many elite cricketers and most of them would agree to this plan now as the bowler comes in therefore and delivers that ball we see dhoni hitting one of the most beautiful sixes that you will ever see sailing beautifully over the long on boundary into a delirious crowd and the question is how did he do that now the beauty of the six is not in hitting the six per se the beauty of the six is as if he already knew where the ball was going to land but the fact of the matter is dhoni did not know there is no way dhoni would know where the ball is going to land the bowler would have at least 40 to 50 variations where he is going to land the ball so what would be going in a batter's head at that moment of time if you imagine you can i'm sure guess that there would be a thousand million things or thoughts that would be getting into his mind his adrenaline would be sky high his heart would be pumping a thousand times and how do you be calm under pressure in those excruciatingly challenging situations now the beauty of dhoni's mindset is that he knows what to do now normally the go to answer over here is belief we would say that dhoni believes in himself but let's just try to think about this is belief the real answer finally what is belief belief is finally a feeling right it's something within you but more importantly believe is a effect of something i feel that dhoni has one go to thing that he goes to and he asks one question to him as he goes in those situations and the question he asks is what's my plan and the beauty of this question is not about the plan because every batter would have a different plan the the beauty of this question is my what's my plan what works for me and dhoni knows what works for him and we have seen this so often in those situations dhoni does two things one is he is going to take the game deep second in those deep overs if there is a ball to be hit he is going to hit that ball but third he is going to follow rule number 1 and 2 now that's his plan now the if you realize dhoni has not always succeeded with this plan but it's better to fail with a plan in mind than to fail without a plan but more importantly it's better to succeed with a plan in mind then succeed without a plan because when you succeed with a plan that success is replicatable when you succeed without a plan you always going to ask you know what did i do that time and you will never get that answer but is that enough is it as simple focusing on or telling what the plan is i think so there is something else that dhoni does now the fact of the matter is that batting is a reactive sport how much ever you think you will not know where the bowler is going to ball the ball and dhoni knows that he is very clear in his mind 
and therefore he asked the second question and that is what can i identify as the focus point within that plan and the answer that he knows is i have to see the ball that is coming out of the bowler's hand and if i do that i am going to have better anticipation better body position better timing better decision making and that's what allows him to even defend the ball if there is it's, it's a if it's a good ball because he knows he'll always have the next ball for which he can hit for a six no i have seen this very closely i was the mental conditioning coach for the punjab kings ipl team these last two years and this year we had a situation where ms dhoni was on strike they were batting second and they needed 70 runs to get off 28 balls quite a difficult task but till the time he was there the entire dugout was completely nervous the beauty of dhoni is not that he believes in this plan the beauty is that the opponent starts believing in his belief but is this unique to dhoni i believe not let's take the example of roger federer whenever roger federer is 1540 down on his serve from that due court he will surely hit a ace down the tee exactly at the intersection at 3040 he will do exactly that down the tee at the intersection at 40 all he'll hit a body serve to ensure that the opponent is forced to make an error and he'll finish it off with an ace and you will see a pattern over there emerging and again it's not that roger federer has always succeeded in doing that but it's this marriage of having clarity of my plan and what do i focus within that plan is what gives him success and as a mere mortal i too have experienced this in my journey now i have educated as an orthodontist and through these last 18 years i have transitioned into becoming a mental conditioning coach you know they say that you take your life to the next level so i went from dental to mental <laughs> and i have had my own struggles in this and whenever i have struggled whenever i have found my future to be bleak i have subconsciously asked these two questions to myself what's my plan and what's the focus point within my plan we all in our life are going to be faced with our own last ball six moments those life changing destiny defining moments for us that interview that you need to crack that presentation that has to go well that entrance the exam that you need to do well that leadership team that needs to succeed that relationship proposal that is so important for your life and in all these things there are going to be variables that you can never control and it is these two starting points that can give you the best chance of success i truly believe that we have it within us to have the mindset that of ms dhoni and by using these two starting points you too can hit your own metaphorical last ball sixes and get the success and glory that you deserve thank you